I've definitely noticed over the last few years, it seems to be a lot more liberties as far as, you know, guys want to score goals and they want to go to the tough areas. Sometimes that's what you have to do. And I think you've noticed over the last few years that it's gotten worse and worse. And um, I don't think there's anything you can do because at the end of the day, you're getting paid to stop the puck. You really can't think about it, right? I mean, you just got to focus on the game, but also at the same time, you got to trust that your D-men are going to be there to help protect you out. And with the referees calling penalties and stuff with goalie interference, that, that they're going to try and protect us too. So, I mean, I, I don't think it's something that you can worry about a lot. Obviously, you think about it and you don't want it to happen, but I feel like when you're out there, you're just playing. And obviously, you see guys coming, you can brace yourself a little bit more. So that's what you try to do is know that where guys could be coming from so you can brace it rather than just, you know what I mean, hitting you and you're kind of blindsided. Yeah. It's brutal. I mean, well, what can you do? That game's so fast nowadays and space is limited. So, you know, the guy's driving wide and he's half a step late, you know, then collisions happen. Like the guy's not going to drive behind the net half the time. So, I mean, the only option is kind of start jumping the guy's feet and let them know you're there too. But, you know, if it's... It's, it's tough. It's the, the thing with our position that we're so dialed in on the puck and a lot of times you don't see guys come from the side or um, as a player you can always adjust uh, your body but if we adjust our positioning we open up the net so uh, you just have to stand there you just have to uh, uh, you know I think a lot of situations hope for the best when, when people come uh, running into